And welcome you guys back to Metal Gear Solid. So let us continue. Uh, hopefully we won't be get caught by this light, this searchlight. Because in this game when, uh, when the searchlight touches you, it activates the alarm and then everybody just starts attacking you. So it's really crazy. Like this is not the kind of game that you want to go and do like you know be Rambo and just start shooting at everybody this is a a sneaking game very different from the usually the usual games of shooting down uh, the enemies and all that so uh, hopefully we won't be getting caught this is the chaff grenade this will jam the uh, security cameras we got some stun grenades we still don't have a main weapon, but we'll be able to manage with this. So there are two ways upstairs. There's a ventil ventilation shaft down here, but I'm going to take the one upstairs because obviously the one downstairs is a little more difficult since there's a guy there um, guarding the door and I will have to like engage with him. That's a ration. Those are for re recharging your your life bar and even if there's a camera there you don't need to worry because as long as you don't step on the line of vision you should be alright so I'm gonna try and get the attention of that guy if he becomes a problem but I can see that he's a little far so I'm gonna take a risk there we go since I'm not in his line of vision then oh he detected me but he, he's only seeing my my footprints but they're kind of stupid. They'll just go away, and uh, it's like it never happened. Like they just don't bother. So I'm gonna wait for the guy up here to appear. And then I'm gonna show you guys how you can take an enemy out without weapons. So let's wait on it. So there he is. Yeah, once they uh, turn around, it, it's a lot easier to um, to take care of them. The only problem is when they see you like directly, and they can't hear you when you're coming at uh, at them from behind. Oh, I did it wrong, but whatever. So that's how you break their necks. Ow! <laughs> so I'm gonna get into the ventilation shaft, and it'll be as if I was never here. I rule. <laughs> Oh, 
Mark III. It's our last replacement, so try not to break it. Who, oh, me? Never. One more thing. I don't see anybody around, but there are unmanned sentries patrolling the area. Be careful out there. So here we are in Shadow Moses Island. I did that thing at the beginning on purpose. Might have confused some people if they haven't played this game. <laughs> it did confuse the hell out of me the first time. So here are some of the uh, face camels that I've gathered. This one's hilarious. Same PS1 graphics. <laughs> There's Otacon. Raiden. But I don't have the beauty phase, because remember that I restarted the game again. And, uh, and I didn't get, you know, I didn't try even to get it. Uh, I don't have any noodles on me, but whatever. I might get some around here. So, yeah, this place is going to be a little different than it used to be. I mean, it makes a little sense. I mean, it's been ten years. So, it only makes sense that it's different. So... The night vision is the perfect thing to, ha to have around here, because honestly, the blizzard is just too uh, blind blindly... You know, it just blinds you the whole way, and there's going to be some gecko uh, up ahead. <clears throat> so the best thing you can do is to try and be as distance, distant as you can from them because even if you camouflage yourself on the ground and they sort of spot you, once they get close to you they uh, release this little like uh, like this cord that then they analyze you and then they figure out that you're that you're alive you know that the, the only uh, camo that fools them is a special camo <coughs> that uh, I think it's called corpse camo or something like that. Um, it basically simulates you being dead, so it, it works with absolutely everybody. It's a really awesome camo. Uh, it's sort of like the fake death pill from MGS3, only that it's unlimited. And it doesn't serve the purpose to not being seen, but even if you are seen and you're like laying on the floor, uh, people just come and check your pulse and for some reason it's like you're dead. And they just keep walking, it's really amazing. I used to use it a lot when the situation was too intense. It was the, the perfect camo for getting everybody off your back. But I think you get that special camo if you beat the game on... I think it's on the boss extreme. And I think you also need to do some other things. I'm not really sure. I don't even remember how I got it. How I got it. It's just that I played through the game like a couple of times. And uh, eventually I did get it. Of course, this is a new file, so it's impossible to get it here. But I might work on those things when, when I beat this game and, uh... Whoa. Man, I hope he doesn't see me. Yeah, at least this laser thing is pointing above me. get over there. It's really cool how the song starts now. 
It's a theme from MGS1. When you beat the game, you get to hear this song. It's a lot of nostalgia they like to throw in in this part of the game. They did it on purpose, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Now this area here is where Snake comes in the first time when he arrives in Shadow Moses when he goes up into the elevator. The elevator is this way. <clears throat> this is basically the, hel the heliport. Here's the elevator. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is a last It's really awesome when you get to hear flashbacks. There's more around here. If you step here. Mei Ling from back then sounded so different, but I guess she was just like like a kid back then, like a teenager. <laughs> I think you don't get this little cutscene here if you don't do you know the the dream dream state. Uh, if you don't check the camera in the dream, I don't think you get this cutscene because. It really depends on what you do in the dream, and I'm not really sure if there's like a lot more than that, because honestly, uh, you know, I, I haven't even looked into it. But I usually just go into up to, into the ventilation shaft, and that's it. Now I don't know if there's like a difference in depending on where you get in, and and so and, you know, and so forth. I might read about it later. If there's like a, I don't know if there's something different about it. Let's check it around. This area was usually locked down on the first game, so you never really get to see those doors open or anything like Looks that. Like the front hangar door is open. A little bit at least. You can get in that way if you want. Like Otacon says, you can you can go in through the front front door, but um, I think it's not fun to do it that way. <laughs> I mean, here's the sa the ventilation shaft, the, the one, but I want to use the one upstairs because that's the one I used in the dream. So, here we go. So, you can see everything is pretty much the same. It's just that obviously it's been 10 years, so. Or around 10 years, but, you know. So, in we go. And this time it's not like we sewn in. Snake, Snake, this is McDonald Miller. Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots of those. That was the, uh. That was fake. Liquid fake. <laughs> I mean, that's not a spoiler, because if you're watching MGS4, then you've definitely already seen MGS1, or at least I haven't heard of people watching, like, a part... like a part 7... like a part 7 of a game without even bothering watching part 1. 
So if you haven't watched MGS, my, my Let's Play, go back there and watch it. <laughs> <coughs> so there are still rats in here. Uh, I think if you call Otacon, he's like, well, why do you take the ventilation shaft? And he's like, oh, I don't know. Like, he says something, and then he's like, my friends are going to guide me. And he's like, friends? And, you know, he's talking about the rats. Or iPod music. So I guess it wasn't that bad to take the ventilation. <coughs> so we have the little geckos. Tiny geckos. I want to try and avoid this one at least. Because I want to save up my shaft grenades. Okay. Whoa. There are some in here that are sleeping. At least I got another ration. That's a good thing. You might also get something if you start shooting at the uh, at the ravens. Oh crap! Ah! Oh. Uh oh! Excuse me. Cool. Ow. Can't go through here. It would have been cool if I could. Ow. Didn't go out as planned, but I guess I should be alright. Man, I'm super stressed out here. It's a red bar. Goodbye! Ow. Bastards. Aim for the legs. Knock the gecko over, then aim for the neck. Uh no. Not gonna do that. <laughs> Whoa. Goodbye. Whee. I'm just a tourist. I just wanted a vacation in Alaska. Ooh, what's this? And I'm out of here. Oh, whoa, he's right next to me. <laughs> oh, that was creepy. If I see things like that in real life, <laughs> I hide forever. Okay, so I guess I should leave it here and then I'll see you guys on the next one. And we'll continue down in Shadow Moses. See you guys then. Bye.